semantic data, that's a big one. I'll try to explain it from the perspective of a small business. Um, first of all, semantic data allows machines, especially search engines, to understand the meaning and the semantics of information. Um, let me give you an example. Um, think of a telephone number. Um, it could also, for a machine, a machine doesn't know that it's a telephone number in the end, or think of the, the term New York maybe a better example, the term New York. New York is a name of a city, it's a name of a state, it's maybe a name of a ship or even a name of a song. And the machine can understand that in the context. The machine doesn't read, it simply sees the term and doesn't understand it. To be better found online as a small business, um, it's very helpful to have these assignments, especially for search engines, because they can crawl them, they can grasp them and understand that it's a telephone number, it's the opening hours, it's the brand name of the small business, etc., etc. And uh, that, that, of course, helps uh, to get customers, to find new customers, um, and to make it more easy to contact you or to come to your retail store, maybe. Well, how do you get semantic data on your website? Um, of course, that's a very technical uh, question. If you, if you work with an agency and they do your website, for example, uh, maybe ask them to put them on because it's rather uh, hard to explain it and do it by yourself, of course. Um, but there are also tools like plugins for WordPress or if you think of one-on-one -on -one my website um, where you put in your data um, very easily at one point and then wherever that data appears on the website, we make sure that the semantic data will be assigned uh, properly and, and um, the search engines can find these data and understand these data uh, in, in the proper way.